Anyone else want to want to jump in? I got about five minutes. Hi. Oh. Hi. Oh. Whoever um, wants to jump. Hi. In. Hi. <laughs> oh well. Um, I'm like Nico's friend who just said happy birthday to. <laughs> oh, perfect. But yeah, I really don't think I have a question. I was just like really excited, but I just wanted to say like. I don't know, I love you, and you're really cool. I mean, you obviously don't have to say it back, because that's really weird, but I don't know. I'm really nervous, so I'm sorry if I'm talking really fast. <laughs> <laughs> that's totally okay. Um, no, I really appreciate it. But thank you for wishing me a happy birthday, even though it's like still, like I don't know, a long time. And yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoy it. I know it's been sort of a wild wild last year and a half, so hopefully, hopefully you get to celebrate with some some people responsibly. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Um, hi. Hi. Hey. I've been sort of like brainstorming a couple of different questions, but loads of the ones I've had have already been asked. So let's just kind of go with this. Um, also, sorry if I'm kind of rambling. It's 3 a.m. here. I'm a little delirious. But... <laughs> I've been hearing that from the UK contingent a lot, so... No, no judgment. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm in the UK, in Scotland, so. Great. Well, hopefully you can get to bed after this, I guess, or sorry for keeping you up late. No, it's fine. I actually woke up kind of anyway just before this because I had a nap earlier and I had forgotten this was happening and ended up waking up like perfectly in time for it. So oh, there we go. Serendipity. Obviously, that's, that's a sign. <laughs> so I was wondering kind of, other than obviously Dave and presumably Klaus, who are sort of some of your favorite characters in the show? And who are some that you would have liked to have a scene with? E even if like in terms of the storyline, it doesn't obviously didn't work out for you to really meet with some of the others. Who would you have liked to, if that fit with the story? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I would love to work with everyone in a way. It's great. Like watching everyone's work. I'm, I'm pretty blown away. Um, yeah funny. there's so many amazing people in the show yeah it's tricky so it's like I know that's kind of a lazy answer but um, maybe Colm in a way he's sort of a Canadian Hall of Fame guy so it'd be interesting to sort of go toe to toe with him especially Reginald such an intense character that it might be a little scary for me walking into a scene yeah that, that would make an interesting interaction yeah even like Vanya like to play with Elliot would be fun I don't know it's like I guess everyone it's because I watch the work and like see what they do with the characters, and it's so it would always just sort of be an exciting prospect. With yeah, they they all seem so great to work with, and the characters are so interesting as well. There's a lot of room for different dynamics to happen. And... Yeah, and they play. You're right. They kind of play off each other differently. So it'd be interesting to sort of see what I could do with with someone you know, and any of any of the other characters in the show. Yeah, definitely. Mm. And also, I was wondering, kind of, when you filmed the death scene, what was it like, kind of, after you died, and then, basically, Robert was giving this really beautiful, emotional, sort of heartbreaking performance, and you basically had to just lie there, like, you weren't allowed to react because you were dead. What was it like, kind of, having that sort of experience? Yeah, it's it's tricky. It's like, you just... I'm trying to play the truth of the moment really and that's it i can't i can't really speak anything more to that in terms of technique i guess other than just sort of committing committing to it basically but yeah he, yeah. Did, he did do a very good job with that scene and like i was saying it's very easy working with him because it's it's a lot to take off of of robert so yeah mm -hmm. Uh, anyway, thank you. It was really great speaking to you. Yeah, you're very welcome. Hopefully you can get some sleep now. I'll try. We'll, <laughs> we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much. Yeah, you're very welcome. Bye. Take care. Who's speaking now? Hi. Hi. <laughs> um, sorry if my voice sounds a little bit bad. I just woke up a few hours ago and so I'm still pretty sleepy. And that's okay. um, it sounds like a common theme <laughs> on this chat. <laughs> uh, time zones. Uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, for my question, 
and probably something controversial in the end. Uh, <laughs> what's your like top tip for most young actors who are like only kids who are kind of in the mood to go for acting, even though acting's not really their like a big thing in their family and uh, not sure if their family will approve of it. Yeah. I, I sort of answered this earlier, but um, I think when it comes to thinking about what your family wants for you, I went through that as well. And I think that it's really important to just like do what you love. I know that sounds really cliche, but the people who really care about you aren't going to judge you for um, the choices that you make. In, in anything in life. And, you know, that, and that aligns up with career as well. So if you really love it, I think that the people who love you are going to see that and they're going to want to support you. Um, in, in regards to starting out as a young actor, like I'd said to uh, the person earlier that I was speaking with, that you just have to train. Training is the big thing. It'll give you, first of all, like a really good sense of um, whether or not this is for you, if you really kind of enjoy the work. Um, it'll get you training so you can sort of build up a resume and well, it'll also just start to get you connected with, with other people who can give you more tips to get, to get you further along in your career, whether that's sort of getting you connected with an agent, maybe there's other auditions for a project that are non-union. Um, but yeah, training is always the first thing. And, and like I said, any big city generally has, um, or even like smaller towns will have acting classes that are specifically for teens and things like that. So, um, and it's, sh- I mean, you should be able to Google it as well too. Or if you have any people locally um, who you might know sort of peripherally in the industry, you can ask them and, and they'll get you connected with, with uh, what classes you should be doing and stuff like that. But I definitely recommend training first. Okay. Uh, so can I ask another question if that's Okay. Of course. Uh, okay. So, um, what was it like working with the writers and the script writers? Uh, I don't have a lot of say myself. I basically get the script. Um, Steve Blackman was on set. Uh, I sort of briefly spoke to him, but uh, I, I don't really have a big enough role to be sort of throwing my weight around that being said it, the script is really good as it is so i just have to kind of do do my best job with with what's given but i think the scripts are pretty good as as you probably heard so can i ask a question sure so um as a Jew, it was really awesome to me to be able to see a character that was Jewish because I feel like so often in media, we're really underrepresented, especially in popular media. So like, what did it mean to you to be able to portray that? Again, it was funny enough, it was, it was, it was pretty last minute because I found out when I'm getting my, my dog tags as well. Um, and But I think that in a way it's, it's uh you're right that there's an important that it's represented but um i think that that it should just be very unassuming it should be like okay he's jewish and then that's it and just let the character be the character and that just he just so happens to be jewish as well i think that that's that tends to be the most flattering representations where you don't have to sort of speak to it. Do you know what I mean that way? Where it's just a part of the character and there doesn't need to be a justification. There doesn't need to be um, a kind of pandering in a way. It's just like, that's just who he is. I mean, that's, and that's the way it should be if, in terms of like looking at sort of accepting people for who they are. It just should just be an unassuming thing about them. And so in a great, in, I guess, you know, minor blessing, it's great that I, I sort of just got it that day. And you're right that people can still connect with that. Yeah, I definitely get that because I didn't actually know that Dave was Jewish until I looked into it a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So to have a character that, you know, he's just like everybody else, but you get to see that he's like you. I think that was super cool. Well, yeah. And like, like you said, for you to be able to connect to something like that without really even knowing, it just normalizes it way more. And, And that's, that's the whole point, I think. Exactly. Thank you. Yeah, you're very welcome.
Hi, my friend um, Salem says hi, but he's too nervous too. Hi, I Salem. Really cool. Don't don't worry about being nervous. I'm nervous too. We're all nervous. <laughs> yep. Uh, thank you. That's all. You're welcome. No, no worries. I may be done here shortly too, so maybe one or two more, or if our hosts want to jump back into, we can we can wrap it up as well. Uh, I have a quick question. Oh, I joined oh, recently. Oh, sorry. Someone else speaking there. That's okay. We'll do these these two questions, and then we can jump in with the host after and wrap it up. All right, perfect. I'm I'm not sure if you actually already answered this, but I was wondering, what's your favorite like memory or day on like the set? Well, yeah, I'd said before, my favorite scene, I think, was the dance scene, just because it was super fun. And mm -hmm. for me, it was my the first scene we shot. So it was like a nice, nice way to kind of dive into the show. Um, of other memory, there's like a sort of weird little memory. I remember we were waiting just to shoot um, the scene when when Klaus is in the club, basically. And so it was a lot of kind of sitting around there because they were shooting something else. And we were kind of sitting and I was sitting with Tom and and Robert and just kind of chatting in uh, funny enough, it was the set for the hotel. I think the weird sort of eighties hotel with like the heart shaped jacuzzi. That was like the set we were kind of sitting in and chatting and it was sort of a weird, weird setting of just having a little conversation, but that was, that was another moment that I kind of remember, but yeah. Cool. Thank you so much. Yeah. You're welcome. Uh, hello again. Hi. Hi. I just wanted to say a quick um, thank you so much for doing this. It was um, it was really great, and I really enjoyed getting to talk to you. Yeah, I enjoyed chatting with you and, and everyone else as well. It's just cool to hear sort of the multi fandom through the questions people are, are firing my way. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you're very welcome. Well, I don't know if the hosts want to wrap it up. Come on and we can uh, tie a bow on this whole chat. I don't know if Courtney's around. Super weird question, but have you ever tried putting milk first? <laughs> <laughs> I have, but it isn't, it isn't the way I normally go. But... Uh, like, yeah, am I uh, the only one here who puts milk before cereal? No, you know what? I'm probably going to get so many blocks by this, but I'm sorry. It's just the way I do it. I get no. to control the cereal. Well, here's the way. So basically, I'll have had like a bowl of cereal and there still will be milk left over. I'll pour more cereal into that milk. That would be the time where I would pour cereal into milk. Like, I just think that shaming people for putting milk first, like, because it's Hear me out. Okay, so when you pour cereal after the milk, uh, I, I mean, like, if you pour milk first before cereal, you kind of have control on whether the cereal is going to soak under the milk, if you get what I'm saying. Like, you have control over the cereal. But if you put cereal first um, and then milk, the cereal is going to get super soggy. Like, well, <laughs> you, could also aim, you could also aim the milk towards the side of the bowl so that it doesn't hit the top of the cereal as well. There you go. Fair point. <laughs> don't, don't knock like, it. Don't just knock do it, it half and half. The other way. <laughs> just half and half. Okay, I'm going to try it right now because I have there cereal here. Awesome. Go for it. All right, Cody. I just wanted to say, I guess you can actually end it on me this time. Perfect. <laughs> So thank you so much for doing this with all of us. We all really appreciate it. Yeah. Um, it was a very long chat, and we really, really, really appreciate you taking the time to do this. It was very generous of you. You gave us a lot of your time. Yeah, you're very welcome. You know, it's like, yeah, the time flew by a little bit. and I mean, let's face it, I'm not really doing much in COVID, so no, I, I really enjoyed it. Thank you so much. All right, well, we'll let you go then. We won't. We don't want to take up your whole night. <laughs> no worries. Well, yeah, take care, and... I'm sure we'll cross paths on Twitter as we normally do. All right, we'll take care.